If you're looking for another fun idea for the whole family, consider going to the Cougar Mountain Zoo in Issaquah. The zoo's director, Jared Munzer, that's it, I got it. Jared. Joins us now. Good morning to you. What can you show us here now? Oh, is that a peacock? A peacock? It looks like one. A macaw? So these are, oh. these are two oh. of our hyacinth <laughs> macaws. Can you wave? Say hi. The trees. <laughs> Hello, pretty blue So bird. these are hyacinth macaws. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I have to admit, I thought the greenery behind them. So the hyacinth macaws, them, uh, oh. Oh, sorry, oh, go ahead. A delay. Uh, the greenery behind them, from my view of where I was <laughs> seeing it, looked like the tails of a, a peacock. So I know that that's not a peacock now that I see it up close. But what is um, <laughs> so special about this macaw, Jared? So these are actually the largest of all the macaw species. They can have a wingspan up to about four feet and they can weigh up to four pounds. So they're a very large bird. Um, for a flying bird, that's pretty heavy, you know, for an animal this size. So flying birds all have hollow bones. Um, so they've got a lot of mass to them. So now a neat thing about this bird, aside from their really blue feathers, if you look at the yellow skin that's around their beak and right around their eyes, oh. that's actually what color they are right underneath those feathers. Oh. So they're a really pretty yellow color underneath there. So, and they've got real specialized beaks, so they can bite very hard. A lot of people think a bird like this might make a great pet, but they don't make a great pet for everybody. And one of the reasons is for that. Oh, you don't want that one? <laughs> yeah. How about? What is that? Your feet? It How about looks this like one? a walnut. Uh, you yeah. are a brave so man, Jared. That's an walnut. A wal because I want to know, <laughs> like, what is the, the PSI of one of those beaks? Like, what is the Ooh. pressure and the force? I mean, if they're, it's cracking a nuts, lot. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so they can actually snap a broomstick in half, no problem with that beak. Wow. So they're very powerful biters. They're also really smart birds. So they have the intelligence of about a five-year-old child. And one thing people don't realize is some of these birds can live almost 60 years. So that's like having a five-year-old in your home forever. <laughs> oh. So it's a, it's a lot of responsibility to take care. A lot of responsibility to take care of an animal like this. But coming out to the zoo is a great way to see uh, all the different macaws and parrots we have. We do a really great educational bird show every day, uh, depending on the weather. And it's a really good way to see some of the natural behaviors that the birds do, but also some of the husbandry behaviors that we've taught them that help us take care of them so well. So cool. interesting. Jared, thank you so much. I, I kind of want to know why he's doing that yeah, thing where he's, he's like, like what? what's up? What's up? Is that like? He's showing off for the camera. Yeah. The one on the right. Yeah, he's he's taking a look at the camera there. It's not every morning he sees a camera right here. He's like, bring it, Can bring it, camera. <laughs> All right, Jared, we're going to check in with you. I hope we're going to check in with you later um, because we have so much more to see at the Cougar Mountain Zoo. So fun. Um, I can't believe I called that a peacock. That's amazing. That was my favorite part of the morning, frankly. And I didn't, and I like, I think I might need glasses. Well, I wear glasses at night when I drive, but I don't need, like I can read, but sometimes the teleprompter, honestly, like I, when I was reading his name, I was like, oh God, what does that say? You know what? We will find you an optometrist. If you have a good one you'd like checked. to refer, just find us on Facebook.